the Iraq War. The Iraq War commands our immediate attention. Iraq's nuclear threat, fraudulently presented to the American public by the Bush administration, was designed to frighten us into accepting a preemptive war. It worked. It worked. This colossal mistake is a replay of our Vietnam experience. The best and the brightest on the political left led us into the swamps of Vietnam. The best and the brightest of the neocons on the political right led us into the deserts of Iraq. Both are major stains on America's honor. We need to acknowledge the mistake we made, the, the mistake made by a messianic president. We need to take our troops out of Iraq immediately and move aggressively toward a diplomatic solution to the dangerous situation we created. Once our troops are out of harm's way, we can focus our diplomacy on bringing the United Nations, the European and Asian communities, and regional players like Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Iran, Syria, Lebanon, and Israel into a process to help end the civil war in Iraq and establish stability in the region. Now some Democrats in Congress are pushing to set a date certain for withdrawal. July 2007 is suggested. This is cosmetic to look politically responsible. We heard these same political nostrums about getting out of Vietnam. What will these leaders tell the parents, wives, husbands, and children of soldiers killed during the months prior to July, when they know the war is going to be ended for them in July? What do they tell those people? The Civil War will go on, make no mistake about it. Whether we leave tomorrow or 10 years from now, there will be a Civil War, and there is one waging right now. That's the tragedy. That's the tragedy that was set in motion on October 10th, 2002, when enough Democrats gave permission to President Bush to take the nation to war. If only one senator had filibustered that resolution, we would not be in the mess we're in today in Iraq. There are Americans who say that by leaving Iraq, we would be saying that our soldiers died in vain. You know, and that's true. But the only thing worse than soldiers dying in vain is more soldiers dying in vain. The longer our presence sustains the violence, the more innocent civilians will die as well. Now, a number of generals serving and retired attribute our failure in Iraq to the incompetent prosecution of the war by the Pentagon. That argument is as specious now as it was made by the military in Vietnam. Remember the statement, we could have won, but. There's no but. There's no competent way to make a mistake correctly. There's just no way. It's a mistake. This preemptive war in Iraq is a mistake, period. The inability of Americans to accept, and this is, goes back to Vietnam, the inability of the Americans to accept the mistake of Vietnam that so many soldiers died in vain denied the nation the catharsis that would have helped alleviate the anguish and pain of our veterans who only did their patriotic duty. Let's hope the nation learns from that experience and owns up to the mistake of Iraq for the sake of our returning veterans.